Hey, Wedgwood families, it's Patrick here. I hope that you guys are staying safe and staying warm during all of this cold and snowy weather. As you know, we won't be able to have our normally scheduled Wednesday nights uh, this week because of the snow. But what Casey has come up with is a game called Word Streak. Um, and so in just a minute, he's going to take some time and walk you through what the instructions of the game are and how we can play it together as a family. So get a blanket, get some hot cocoa. I hope that you guys are being able to still have some power and stay warm and enjoy the game playing together as a family. So Casey, it's up to you now to share the instructions. See you guys soon. Hey everyone, just wanted to come to you tonight on this Wednesday evening since we are not having church because of Snowmageddon 2021 or whatever this is called. But I hope you guys are staying warm inside your home, have fellowship. I hope you have power. Maybe you're watching this from a phone. Maybe you're watching this from your TV. Either way, I just want to bring you a family game night that you guys could do together tonight that would involve potentially the whole family if you wanted to. And so this game is called Word Streak. And so how it's played is I'm going to put a set of letters on the screen just like it is right here other than you can see that the word Word Streak is all connected. And that is the goal is to try to find as many words as you can for each screen that I put up. And for each uh, word connecting, you're going to get more points. But the goal should be that they have to be in a chain and you can't uh, at least three letters per word. And then you can't uh, use a circle more than one time for a given word. So you can't just go back in a circle and create this super long. So just here's a, the point value, for example, three letters, one point. So remember this, or maybe write this down right now if you guys want to play. You can always press pause and write down the scoring, get everybody a sheet of paper, or create teams in your family if you want to. And uh, again, get some paper, get a pen. Uh, you can pause on each slide if you want to, uh, but I'm probably going to give us about 30 seconds or so to find as many words, 30 seconds to a minute um, per slide. And so if you follow my timing, that's not very much. If you want more timing, you can always pause, uh, you know, schedule your own timer for each slide. I'm just going to give you the game. Use it however you want. But again, let's go with one minute per slide. I'm going to set a timer up and that way we'll be ready to have one minute per slide. And then are y'all getting some paper, pencils, pens, whatever, crayons, markers, whatever you want to use. Grab it now, and then we're going to get started with number one. So is everyone ready for number one? If not, go ahead and pause uh, your TV, your phone, your device, this video. Grab whatever you need, get in Teams, and then when you're ready, click Unpause, because now we're moving on to number one. Word streak number one is this. So if one thing I didn't mention that was on the points value screen is if you use the uh, different colored dot letter, it gets you an extra point for each word that you can use. So in this case, for slide number one, it's K. So if you can use K in your word, you get an extra point in that word. So how many words can you find in this screen? So we got about 30 seconds left of our minute. I hope that you're looking, finding different words, and again, it's called Word Streak. So you can connect it by um, finding words that connect with one circle. You're just not supposed to use uh, any given circle more than once in a word. So here we are, 15 seconds left. Let me see, can I find a word real quick on the screen? Wow, We're, I, actually I see the word in this number one, the word word. So there's our timer, there's a minute. Hope you uh, have gotten all of this. So I'm gonna move on to number two. Are you guys ready for number two? If you wanna press pause, see who found the most amount of words, I think that'd be a great idea. See who won on this first number. Or again, you could wait till the end, see who finds the most amount of words on all 10 slides. Uh, no, I think we actually have eight slides, but we'll find out here together. So here's number two. Number two, starting the timer, got a minute on the clock. Find your words as soon as possible. The, 
longer the word, the more amount of points. So you want to look for those long words, especially if you're in those upper elementary, middle school, high school years, adults. But younger ones ought to be able to find a word as well. And so look for the word. I know I see a simple three letter word right at the top. You guys ought to be able to find that one. That's three points. But you're looking to use the letter R for an extra point in your word. Just got to remember that. So if you use the letter R in your word streak, you're going to be able to have an extra point in your word. So word streak, how many words are you finding? And I know you guys can at least find four words in this, right? Four words, working hard, working. Are you working as teams or are you working as individuals? Make it competitive, make it fun. All right, three, two, one. There's our one minute timer. So stop what you're doing, stop writing. And all right, let's tally our points. See how many words did you get? And again, if you want to pause this on slide number two, I'm going to give you time to pause it before moving on to number three. Figure out how many words you have uh, for each team, for each individual. All right, time for slide number three. Here we go with slide number three. So again, you're looking, uh, you got a minute on the clock. We're looking to use the letter I in this one, but find as many words that use I or that don't use I. I definitely see the word him using the letter I. So that's not just a three letter word now or three points, that's four points. What other word can we find using the letter I in this, in our word street? You guys have to work hard, work together. We've got about 30 seconds left on the clock for this slide number three. So here we got halfway done. What other word could I find? Can I use, can I find the word flaps? What's a flap, for example? Do y'all see that word in this one? What other word is there? There's probably a really big five, six letter word, but can you find it? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, there's our timer, time up. So that was slide number three. If you wanna pause it to collect your words, find out how many points, go ahead and do that now. And then we're moving on to slide number four. So who's ready for slide number four? Here we go. Slide number four, starting our one minute clock. And so now we're looking to use the letter Z. Ooh, that's a hard one. The letter Z in this one. Man, what are some words? Zoo, is that in there? Oh no, I don't see two O's. So what other word? I'm probably messing you guys up by talking this whole time, aren't I? So I don't know, how, how many of you have been playing in the snow, sliding down the hills? Uh, doesn't seem like the uh, snowballs stick together very well, but is the word snow possibly in this number four slide? I don't know. See if you guys can find it. It's probably not there. I'm just messing you guys up. We got about 15 seconds left on the clock for this one before moving on. Slide number four, 10 seconds now. How many words are you finding? Do you know anybody named? The name Gabe, for example, does that count as a word? Because that seems like pretty uh, right there at the top of your screen. Oh, time's up, stop writing, stop finding words, and then let's move on, pause what you're doing. If you wanna pause the screen to count your words, count your points, see who won round four, or if you're moving on, here is slide number five. Ready? Let's check out slide number five. All right, so we're trying to use the letter K in this one. So for an extra point, that is. You're trying to use uh, that K dot. See how many words can you use? Each word you use with K, you get an extra point. So here's the thing. What word is in this one? I'm really looking for those five and six letter words, but they are super hard to find. Is the word yorn a word? Y-O-R-N? I have never heard of that. About 30 seconds left in our timer. So here we are. What about yo? Or yodel? I'm just looking at our, uh, man, key? You guys got that one? I'm just giving you some hints, helping you out. 10 seconds left on the clock for slide number five. Hope you're having fun with this. 
Hope you guys are laughing a little bit, maybe you're having a little competitive game. Have you guys been? Oh, time's up. Stop what you're doing. Stop writing. Here was slide number five. So if you want to pause, see how many points you got. That is slide number five. Count it up. Or if you're pressing on and we're doing, here's number six. Ready for slide number six? Again, you can always pause this video. Stop what you're doing if you need to uh, prepare a little bit more. Here's slide number six. Starting the one minute timer. Man. So, all right, so what are we doing? How many words can we find in this one? How many words? spell a word out but I don't know if I can find that word that I'm trying to spell out but looking for letters looking to use that S for an extra point and I want to I want to just um, find words that aren't actually in there but just look like they're in like like gospel for example I just see the word gospel in this um, group of letters, but I don't think it's there, but I just want to find it. I want to see. So we got about 15 seconds left on this one. So we're wrapping up 15 seconds, 10 seconds. Time is slipping away so fast. Now we're down to five seconds. So get ready to stop writing. Four, three, two, one. All right. That's been a minute. Stop writing. So here we go. It's the time to add up our words. See how many we have. We want to pause it now and do that. Or if we're just playing all eight of our slides and then going to be adding up. Hope you got enough paper. Hope you guys are writing tons of words. All right, so here is slide number seven. Go. Slide number seven, using the letter H for an extra point in this one. seconds four three two one all right guys stop put your pencils down all right so that was slide number seven um, so here moving on to slide number eight last one start the one minute countdown and so we're trying to use this letter T trying to use the letter T for an extra point per word So that's the end of our game here. Let's tally up our points, see who scored the most. Was it teams, individuals? So here's how the points go again. Uh, remember also the special letter in each of those words. If you do that, you get to add one extra point to each uh, word. So three letter words get one point, four letter words get two points, and so on, all the way up to eight letters. How many of you got an eight letter word? That is awesome if you did. So now, uh, count up the points, see which team or individual or whatever won. Hope you guys had a good time. Now I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Patrick and he's going to share a few extra words as a challenge to all of us out there. So, Patrick, take it away. 
Hey families, I hope that you guys had so much fun with Word Streak. I know that my family and I had a great time trying to do that together. So here's our encouragement, is that during the snow days, during the time where we're stuck at home together, I want to encourage you to maybe make some hot cocoa, maybe some coffee, depending on if you like coffee or not, or some hot tea, and take a board game out. Take some cards out. Play a game together as a family. Use this time to really grow together and to learn more about each other. So guys, we want you to know that we love you. We're excited to see you guys whenever it's safe to finally get back on the roads. Hope you guys have a great time, that you're staying warm and staying safe, and we'll see you next time.